After Wars. There's more action to come, but before we get rolling into the next round, let's update you on how our top eight drivers advanced. Barefoot, Grave Digger, Taurus, Equalizer, and Predator all won in the first round, advancing them into round two. Barefoot came in with the fastest time of 14.09. Along with their win, they added 10 points to their qualifying score. Rounding out our top eight, Carolina Crusher, Invader, and Kodiak were our three fastest losers. Let's send it out to Joe Lowe, who always makes my heart sing. Thank you, Luann. Boy, these two trucks, these two trucks have thrilled this crowd so far, and now they're matched up. The 10,200-pound equalizer from Springfield, Tennessee, going against the Michigan truck, Alan Pizzo's Predator. Predator weighs a little lighter than equalizer. They're both coming up the stage. Now you know which guy has the preferred lane. It's David Morris, Equalizer. What shall I do today to make the Predator pay? Maybe I'll show him a little double trouble and give this black cat some bad luck of his own. Wow! <laughs> equalizer, when I get finished with you, oh, 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 they'll scratch you off the list. <laughs> Cause I got a ferocious rawr, appetite. And once I get you in my grasp, oh, <laughs> I'll savor the victory. <laughs> Their stage, let it happen. At the start, Equalizer cuts a great light. Predator is caught napping. He's going to have to work hard to catch the Equalizer. Into the turn, Equalizer's first there. They come around, Equalizer turns it on. He buries the Predator. David Morse drives the Equalizer to victory and drives Predator down into the ground and out of the competition. Jim Davidson is standing by with David Morris in the Houston Astrodome. David, a great run against Alan Pizzo and the Predator. You put him away, you took the right lane, he's in the left lane. How important is lane choice to you? Uh, the lane choice is going to be real important because I want to get that left-hand turn where I can see where I'm going. Now tell me about the run against the Predator. Okay, I, you know, I just had to go real hard over those dirt mobiles, but not too hard so I could get the control to make the turn at the end. Round number two, race number two. The action doesn't get any better than this. Carolina Crusher faces the Grave Digger coming up next. <laughs> Judgment Day for you, Crusher, is next. And I'm going to punish you to the living end. <laughs> Go ahead, Grave Digger. Make my day. I'm gonna let my fingers do the walking through your gruesome guts. The matchup, the crowd is on their feet and this is only our second round of action. Dennis Anderson driving the Grave Digger and Carolina Crusher with the pilot Gary Porter. Both trucks are very evenly matched, as the spec sheets tell us. A 557 for Crusher and a 540 for the Grave Digger, and both have installed new engines for this Houston event. Gary Porter in the Carolina Crusher in qualifying seemed to have some kind of problems, and Jim Davidson caught up with him and asked him to explain them. All right, well, in qualifying, we're thinking that the fuel pump went out on it. So that's all, that was just a guess. Uh, you know, we come back, we changed fuel pumps. It seemed to run okay, that run there, I just got a little crossed up in the turn and that cost me to race, but I think the truck's okay now. Crusher lost in round number one. He's back in round two as the fastest loser. Let's see if he can make it up as he goes against the digger. On the start, both trucks got a great light as they come around and go into the turn. Digger with a slight lead, he's already there. And Carolina Crusher backs out of it. The digger, whoa, Dennis Anderson almost turns it over, but saves it. An incredible feat of driving. <laughs> Another victim found its way into my perilous pit, and it drives me wild. Crusher.
Crusher thought he could win. Get the crunch. <laughs> How wrong he was. Another one bites the dust. And Crusher, I've got a special place just for you with your name on it. <laughs> you say you don't believe your eyes? Let's see it again. The Gravedigger comes up and over the cars and across the finish line, and then the rear end comes around. He almost turns the Gravedigger over, but Dennis Anderson drives it through and he saves the digger. How did he do it? Jim Davidson's with him. Hey, Dennis, come here, man. You're working so hard out there against the Carolina Crusher, you almost turned the Gravedigger over. No joke, man. I tell you, we were just checking out one side of the truck there. I scrubbed the rims right on the ground. Hey, I don't know why I wasn't a goner. You know, I guess it was 50% driving skill, 50% luck, you know. But, uh, man, I didn't have one choice left. That was a turn into the rollover, hammer on the motor, and it worked. I, I couldn't believe it. Well, you're saying 50-50. You're a walking highlight reel. I've told you that before. You continue to impress everybody out there. How you recovered from that one is incredible. Hey, you aren't kidding about that, man. But, hey, it, it's not the first time, and it probably won't be the last. Monster Wars fans, who can forget? Earlier in the season, Lebanon Valley, New York, when the same thing happened, the rear end came around, Dennis Anderson rolled the truck! The incredible story is that he came back later on that night and won the entire competition. Back in Houston, we're staging for more round two action as Taurus takes on Koliak. Mark Vendler's Kodiak has been having some problems. The truck weighing in at slightly more than 10,400 pounds, pushing out 1,200 plus horses. Taurus, a new breed of truck, right in at the minimum level of 10,000 pounds with 1,300 screaming horses. Taurus, driven by Jackie Wilman. Mark Vendler up in Kodiak. Wilman has Taurus over in the right-hand lane. And a great hole shot for Taurus. Mark Vendler's playing catch-up in Kodiak. Taurus is already into the turn. He comes around as Kodiak just goes into it. Kodiak cannot catch Taurus as Taurus gets the win. Taurus is already heading to the pits to cool down when Kodiak's just finishing. A four-second lead for Taurus. Monster Craze is here, and not just in the Astrodome, but it seems that everyone wants to get into the act. More and more people are trading in their cars and Jeeps and buying trucks. The Ford Michigan plant is doing their best to keep up with the huge demand, but for a little extra help, we sent Jim Davidson to the assembly line.